Katie and I, we've known each other for what seems like forever. Ooh, are we pushing 10? Probably. It might Probably. be like 10, almost 10 years. Yeah, sure. I remember when Chili was just getting started. I remember. Katie was one of our first customer, and he was one of the hardest customer as well because he kept grilling us to make sure that our product gets better and better and better. So now it's my time to <laughs> grill him. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to start with an easy question. Okay. okay. Um, and I think that we have to eat the wing and then uh, we answer the question. All right. Not bad. That's Not easy. bad. Not bad. The lump. Account executives, what's their number one reason why they don't make their quota? Ooh. Honestly, I'll say lack of discipline. Ooh. I'll say lack of discipline that can carry over into a lot of elements in sales, but like the discipline to prospect, the discipline to take accurate notes, the discipline to practice, like actually get good at their, their skills, the discipline to learn the industry. You know, as an exec, as an exec, when's the last time you talked to a salesperson and they actually taught you something? Mm. Like you actually learned something about the industry or whatever. Mm. We're supposed to be consultants and they're not. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go there. It's a lack of discipline that I think most AEs don't apply across the board to get to their network. All right, let's get to a more spicier one. Yeah, that one's a little bit spicier. All right, we're getting there. What drives you? Ooh, the test. The test. I believe at my core and for everyone, we can do so much more than we do and we have so much potential that's what drives me It's like i can do some crazy shit in this world and i actually don't love it when people say life is short right like i've got at least 50 more years on this planet you know what shit i can do in 50 years like if i live up to the potential that i have so potential drives me and then like behind that is you know family friends experiences but like I want to live up to what I believe I can be capable of, which then allows me to take care of everybody. I don't buy when a lot of people, and you'll hear this from men a lot, where they're like, oh, I do it for my family. Like that is it's not, it's not true. I take care of my family. But most times like, oh, well, I missed things for my family. I was working for my family. Your family wants you there. And that's what the family wants. And so it's a misguided, I love to take care of my girls. I spoil my girls, but I do this because I want, right? So that's, that's it. I resonate with that a lot because the fear of not meeting my potential is my driver as well. Yeah. And I say, fuck it. If I don't do this, I will never find out if I can. All right. I'd rather like swing, miss. All right. Swing, miss again. Swing, hit. Cool. Swing, miss again. But like, I don't, I don't like to play it safe in a lot of places. I'm going to push it. All right. Let's go to our next space here. Once. All right. I'm making a mess. How are you so clean? I'm making an absolute mess. Ooh, that one was good. Come on. Not very spicy. That one was good. Now I'm getting worried though. Hey, me too. I'm getting worried. I'm the other one. All right, we're getting to the spicier stuff. Yep. We all have um, our Achilles heels. Yep. Things that you know, when people mention them, we like get uh, guttural about it. And we have a reaction that we probably might regret later. What's your Achilles heel? I will say. I can be hard to get in touch with sometimes. Yeah. Like I'll get text messages and see them come through and like, oh, I'll respond to that later and not. I am notoriously bad with email and Slack. Like, I got one of my employees here right now. Like I'm notoriously bad with Slack and email. Like if you're like, oh, I slacked you, I emailed you. I don't either see it or I see it and think I'm gonna get back to it later. I can improve with my consistency of, I'll say communication when it's not my priority. When it's my priority, I'm very disciplined, I'm very agenda driven, I'm on it, but when like other people want, like I've probably got seven or eight messages while at this conference from people who are like, hey, like we should meet up. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, we should. But that, then that message doesn't go out or it's like, yeah, we should. And then I get hot at the bar. It happened last night, it happened last night. You and I were talking, you and I were talking. And I said, I'm gonna go to the restroom. I'm gonna go get like a, a beer and come back. And as I was coming back, I got intercepted by one group and then intercepted by another group and I never made it back. And so I apologize for that, but that is a flaw of mine as I can get caught up in other things and not always stick to whatever I was on in the moment. So I have good news for you. Yes. AI will fix that for you. That's my hope. You're gonna get a uh, clone. Like when I think about what is it that I do as a leader that I think leads to success, I've written it all down. 
and I've mapped it into buckets of what can AI do now? What do I think can AI do soon? And what do I think it can do within three to five years? I truly do believe I am replaceable by AI within the next five years. But it's because of that belief, I'm gonna do everything I can to be the one to replace me. That's why I'm learning everything I can on AI. It's like, if anyone's gonna replace me, it's gonna be me. So I'm learning, I've, I've already built a version of me in AI. I've downloaded all my content, all my trainings, all my checklists and built a version of me that's pretty damn close if you ask it a question. So it's gonna be crazy. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, I'm seeing some seeds on this one. So I feel like... I got a full mouth of it. Oh, it's spicy. Yup, okay. Oh, it's spicy. Well, All right, okay. I'm gonna get the spicy question for you. Okay. Did you meet your code last quarter? <laughs> Ooh. No. But I was overperformed on the forecast, but not to the actual number. So we had three or four of the orgs get to, and then one miss. It was flipped at the start of the quarter. The one org exceeded, and the other ones came a little bit short, and we rejigged. So not quite. Not quite. Yeah, that was hot. That was hot. That was worse. I, I really appreciate the transparency on that one. Not everybody answers it. Uh, I, not everyone will like me. Not everyone will agree with me. But there'll be very, very few people that ever say I'm not authentic and open and honest. So, tell me how it is. Which one is this one? I don't know, but I'm going to start crying. No laughing on the sides. <sighs> don't make fun of me. Why didn't they warn us? Huh. I'm going to take off this jacket. You work for many founders and CEOs. And we discussed about it last night also on uh, all the things that uh, CEOs could do better to improve their relationship with their head of sales. Um, what do you think there's one thing that you wish founders could, or CEOs that manage head of sales could do better? Oh, we have to eat the thing first before oh, you no, no, we don't. I'll eat it afterwards. I'll eat the nap. I gotta answer the, You're doing it now? Damn it. I never got recovered from the first one. So I think, truthfully, it's understanding the difference between a spreadsheet <coughs> and the reality. It always works in the spreadsheet. Always works. Shut up, Morgan. I'll fight you when I can see you. <sighs> it always works in the spreadsheet. The people element of leadership is so much harder. And so knowing the differences, that's the key. Are we done yet? I think we're done. Are we done? We're going to continue some other time. Oh my Thank God. Thank you, Morgan. We'll catch you later. Deuces. We're out. We're out. Oh my God. <laughs>